With this groundwork now laid, we're ready to start taking the transform of a number of different time domain functions. So let's start first of all with f of t equaling the exponential function e to the minus at. Then f of s, which is the Laplace transform of e to the minus at, will equal the integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus at e to the minus st dt. Using the properties of exponents, we can rewrite this then as the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the minus s plus a t dt. Now when we do the integration, we're going to kick out a 1 over negative s plus a in front, which leaves us, or which gives us then 1 over negative s plus a in front times e to the minus s plus a t evaluated at, and let's just be explicit here, at t at the lower limit which is 0 and the upper limit which is infinity. So we have then out here in front negative 1 over s plus a times, uh, let's go through the details here one time, Evaluating the exponential at the upper limit, we have e to the minus infinity, which is 0, minus e evaluated at the lower limit, which is e to the minus 0. Well, that's just 1. And we're left with, then, negative 1 times that gives us a positive 1 over s plus a. And that is the Laplace transform of the exponential function e to the minus at.